Hey, this is Evan from Design Bros. Today I'm going to show you how to build a beautiful one-page website and how we can use that to either capture emails or even sell a product. I'll also go over how much this can cost and the materials we might need. I wanted to show you a portfolio that I just made using this service. And as you can see right here, I have my name, I have a photographer right here, I have some details about myself, some outgoing links, and my work. And the best thing about this is not only did it just take 20 minutes to make, it only cost me $20 a year, and I'll show you how I made it. So the service I'm using today is called card.co, and if you go there, it describes itself pretty basically. It is a simple, free, fully responsive, one-page site creator for pretty much anything. So card is totally free if you're okay with card.co being appended after your URL, but if you don't want that, you'll want to look at their various payment tiers. So if we go back to the homepage of card.co, we want to hit choose a starting point. So we can immediately see all these templates that are available to us, and they're all pretty great, but I'm going to go up to portfolio and select the one that I was using before. Click select. And if this is your first time using cards, there will be a kind of a splash screen kind of describing each individual element on screen, but I'll kind of go over the basics. So on the upper right corner here, we have this little toolbar and the plus icon is gonna be the add element button. And from here you can add various elements. So from text to buttons, to widgets to embeds, all that kind of stuff. We have an undo button and we have a redo. We have an animation button and we have a mobile preview right here. We have the save button and then we have a hamburger menu with some more options. To start editing, it's really easy. All we have to do is select an element. So I've selected John Anderson here, and I'm gonna add my name, Evan Drews. Looks good. All we have to do is hit done, and the element is changed. Now I'm gonna do the next one right here, and I'm gonna do photographer. And then I want this one to look a little bit different. So up here at this tab, I wanna hit the appearance button. And here we can change the look of everything. So I'm gonna go with a black. We can change the font, but I'm okay with that. We can change the size. Maybe I'll do a little bit bigger. And the weight. We also have letter spacing, margins, appearance, uh, gradients, drop shadows, pretty much everything else if you wanna keep customizing. But I'm done for now, so I'm gonna click it done and perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and add a picture. So to do that, we just wanna hit this gallery option right here. And we can see card has left us a bunch of presets right here. So I'm going to delete a few of these boxes. All right, I'll just leave two for now. So we just select one and we hit upload. And I've selected a generic stock photo. And here is going to be the image editor here for card. So initially it's going to crop in a little bit, but we can either make that square or we can remove it entirely, which I'm going to do. And then we just hit accept and perfect, right? And then I'm gonna add another photo. So if we go to upload here, and you can also change these as well. So if we go up to the appearance tab again, we can change how the images are gonna appear. I'm gonna go with fit. We can change the width depending on the container size. So if you are familiar with HTML and CSS, this is basically just a visualization of how that's going to work. We can change the spacing here, some of the margins, and my favorite, if we go to the image tab right here, we can change the corner rounding. All right, so before we go ahead and hit publish, I wanted to show you the meat of the video, and that is how we can collect emails using this service or sell products. So we wanna look over to the elements panel, the add elements, so we would hit the plus button right here. And first, I'm gonna show you how we can add a form. And what card will do is it'll just generate it right at the bottom here. I'm going to drag it right below these icons right here. Perfect. And we can see by default, we just have a message form. So it's gonna be name, email, message, and then a submit button. But I wanna do a newsletter form. So if we click that and change the type to sign up, we can do it via a ton of different services here. Uh, the most popular one is definitely gonna be MailChimp. So if you go to your MailChimp account, what you wanna get is the API key and the audience ID, and that'll just connect it to this form right here. We can also change the on completion, whether that redirects to a URL or displays a message. And then we can also do a protect with reCAPTCHA. And additionally, if you wanna customize the options, we can get the name here, uh, various information, 
what the button says, and then you can entirely change how this looks right here. But I'm gonna leave it as is and click done. But now I wanna show you how we can embed a buy now link or an actual listing, product listing. So if we go up to the plus icon and we hit widget, card will just go with a default pay with card kind of widget here. I'm gonna drag it up right above these icons right here. And then we can change the type. So we have a few different options here. We have a Stripe, Gumroad, Facebook, PayPal, Typeform, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna stick with Gumroad. All right, and then what you wanna do is you wanna paste in a product URL um, for whatever uh, service you're using here. So I have one from Jake, my brother, and I'm gonna paste that in and then I can just change the button label. I'm gonna leave it alone, click done, and you'll see it right here. So here's what that looks like when you press the button. As you can see, it's just kind of a pop-up modal window and you can purchase from there. So the other option entirely is going to be the embed option. And from here, you can embed whatever you want. So you can embed really anything from any site or service that you have. But specifically for this use case, I'm just going to embed another Gumroad script right here. So I have one copied and I'm just gonna paste it into this code field right here. And then we click done. So for now, it just looks like a little gray box right here. But once you publish, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so now that I've made my changes, all we have to do is hit publish right here. And we wanna add a title, so I'm just gonna do Evans Portfolio. We can add a description. So this is a test site. All right, and then we can just publish it to a .card.co URL. So I can just do Evans Portfolio. And it'll just check if it's available. It's available right here, so that's good to go. But if you are paying for card, what you can do here is you can just publish to a custom domain. So what you wanna do is go ahead and grab that. So like I have evandrews.com and it's not available because I have it hooked up to a different site right now. But then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go to your host and get the uh, the records right here, the domain records. If you don't know how to get the, uh, the domain records right here, all you wanna do is hit, how do I do this? and card will explain depending on your host. But I'm just gonna publish to a .card.co URL and it'll just take a few seconds to upload like it's done here now. And I can go ahead and click it and our site is gonna be live just like that. Understanding your traffic is just as important as getting your traffic. So one of the cool things about card.co is you can connect Google Analytics. So I do recommend going ahead and making an account with Google Analytics and going through the process. And what you'll wanna get is your Google Analytics ID. So you'll just copy that over and paste it right here in the publish settings right here. And after a little while, Google Analytics should start collecting your traffic. If you're interested in a tutorial for how to set up Google Analytics and how we can use that, let us know down below and we might be able to make something like that. We're also trying to hit 400 subscribers, so please subscribe down below if you like this kind of video. All right, peace. What if I just wore sunglasses? for these videos. Be like, cool guy. <laughs>